Hello garden lovers, I hope you're well today. Today we are going to look at my Parfumo collection. There are 13 roses in this collection and I have 10 to show you. The Parfumo collection is bred by Cordes and every rose is very fragrant. The three I don't have is, one is Pretty Parfumer because I didn't like the, the formation of the blooms. Delightful Parfumer because I felt the blooms were too heavy. And another one called Creamy Parfumer, which I thought looked very much like this one, so I didn't get it. So here are 10. We are going to look at each one and pick out the notes from the fragrance. All very beautiful itself, not just fragrant. Okay, we are going to look at, I think, the most popular and vigorous one of the whole collection is Summer Romance. Now, my bush is pretty small. I had grown it in a pot and it was far too vigorous for the pot and I recently planted in this area. So it's sulking a little. So this is a Floribunda rose and it won an ADR in 2015. This is called Summer Romance, also known as Marie Henriette. And the fragrance notes are licorice, rose and apple. And I do like it, it's very strong fragrance. Very vigorous rose and uh, very popular the, the US. So this one here is called Summer Romance. Here we have the lovely rose called Raspberry Parfumer, also known as Raspberry Cupcake in the US. And the other name is Fraulein Maria beautiful smaller blooms, very ruffled, ruffled uh, petals, has tones of pink and purple. This one doesn't seem to be too tall, but this is only the first year in my garden. Actually, most of the Parfumer collection are quite uh, new additions. Very lovely fragrance. And this one has the fragrance of patchouli, cedar, spicy, and hints of fresh cut grass and green apple. This is what I've got from the website. Now, I, I'm not sure why they can pick up all those fragrance notes, but it is a very lovely, a lovely fragrance. So this one is Raspberry Perfumer. Here is a slightly taller one. This one is called Adorable Perfumer, also known as Carmen Worth. It's a lovely uh, dark pink color, very typical rosebud shape and the flower is actually quite a deep cup this is quite old it's probably about four or five days old lovely typical rose shape and the fragrance is very beautiful just check out the leaves how healthy it is and also this is the first year in my garden lovely strong fragrance now this one has um, notes of patchouli, lychee, with base notes of apple and rose. Wow, how complex is that? Beautiful. So this is um, adorable perfumer. 
So here we have the newest addition to the Parfumer collection. This one is Porcelain Parfumer, also known as Conagin Marie. It is a sport of the Carmen Worth, the one that we just saw earlier, this one here. You see the flower shape is very similar. See, very similar in flower shape. This one is a uh, very pale pink and hints of uh, lilac. This has won the ADR award in 2018. Very, very healthy and has a very beautiful fruity fragrance. This one is a hybrid tea. So it's one bloom per stem. This one happens to have two beautiful healthy healthy variety lovely and this one is bliss perfumer very beautiful soft pink blooms this one is also called margin zalba and it is a floribunda won the ADR award in 2017 and again first time in my garden and very healthy also has a very strong fruity scent a lovely popular variety this is uh, Bliss Parfumer and now we come to this one called Fruity Parfumer lovely vibrant coral red flowers not in bloom at the moment but the buds are very beautiful really strong color the new leaves on this bush is very red very bright and uh, intense a lovely variety some people say the blooms tend to ball up but I haven't found it so and uh, this is also called Gatton Bresen Marie Jose. Excuse the pronunciation. And the fragrance notes are rose, rhubarb, patchouli with hints of raspberry. Very unique. So, not in bloom. This is. Fruity Perfumer. Here we have the beautiful Spicy Perfumer. This is a very healthy variety and one of the standout features of this rose would be the newly emerged foliage. It is very vibrant and red when it starts like a bronzy red foliage. Super vibrant and even now it's very very glossy. This one starts with this soft peachy apricot bud and at every stage it becomes more pink. And let me show you this, a very unusual bloom. Look at that. It's two blooms on one stem. It's like a Siamese, Siamese rose. Two blooms on one stem. Look at that, how unusual. Has anyone experienced this before? Because this is my first time. I've never seen a rose or a flower like this. Very beautiful. And this one here is very, it's probably about five days old now and it's about to drop. The colors do develop into this soft amber as it ages and has a scent of uh, fruit, jasmine and rose. Very nice fragrance. So this is one is also known as um, Grobergoisen Louise. This is spicy perfumer. This one is one of the tallest of this collection. 
and it has very healthy corrugated leaves, quite big leaves. Very strong and sturdy variety. This one is called Glorious Perfuma, also known as Madame Anisette. Has this chalk white color with hints of beige in the center. Very, very strong scent. One of the strongest, I think, of the scent. Smells of honey. Aniseed and myrrh. Gorgeous flower. This one's called Royal Perfuma, also known as Graphene Diane. This is only bought a few days ago along with the Gorgeous Perfuma. A beautiful, intense colour. This bud is half eaten, but even with the half eaten bud, the smell is very, very strong. This doesn't seem as sturdy or as vigorous as the others, but the beauty of this color is very, very beautiful. Cannot deny beautiful color, intense, deep color. This is called Griffin Diane and has won the ADR in 2006 and has the fragrance of lychee, peach, rose, lemon, honey, very complex, very beautiful color. So now we come to the last one in our perfumer collection. This is uh, Herzegovian Christiana, also known as Secret Perfumer and Earth Angel. It's a floribunda. You see all those buds there. It's quite a relaxed habit and we are on our second flush. The flowers is white with hint of pink in the centre and a very closed cup. Never really fully opened almost like a ball but this beautiful gorgeous fragrance and has a ADR in 2015 it's a fragrance is soft and sweet with hints of apple and champagne and classic rose wow sounds very expensive Okay, let me know if you grow any of these roses and how you find the fragrance. I can't decide. They're all beautiful. You know, spicy is good. Very good fragrance, very good rose. As is Madame Anisette, which is the glorious perfumer. And the colour, wow, of this Royal Perfumer is very intense. And the very elegant looking Earth Angel. Wow. I cannot say which one is my favourite. So this is all the Perfumer roses in my collection. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you very soon.